Paul and Pauline here down by the River Darling at Will Kenya, sitting next to this huge gum tree here. That gum tree was probably here for nearly a thousand years. Certainly would have been here when John Mitchell was exploring the River Darling for the first time. He didn't discover the river, it was Captain Charles Sturt discovered the river at the uh, top of the Murray and up uh, at the other end as well. Captain Sturt discovered both ends of the Darling, but it was John Mitchell who traversed the length of it first in about 1828 or 1830, something like that. But today our meditation is talking uh, about drought and it comes from 1 Kings chapter 17 where Elijah meets the widow at Zarephath. Verse 7 Some time later the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Go at once to Zarephath in the region of Sidon and stay there. I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. So he went to Zarephath. When he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and asked, Would you bring me a little water in a jar so I may have a drink? As she was going to get it, he called, And bring me, please, a piece of bread. As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread. Only a handful of flour in a jar and a little olive oil in a jug. I'm gathering a few sticks to take home and make me a meal for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. They were down to their last and uh, she only had enough food left. Elijah said to her, don't be afraid, go home and do as I have said, but first make a small loaf of bread for me from what you have and bring it to me and then make something for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord sends rain on the land. So there's a fair indication of where the rain comes from. The Lord sends it. She went away and did as Elijah had told her. So there was food every day for Elijah and the woman and her family for the jar of flour was not used up and the jug of oil did not run dry in keeping with the word of the Lord spoken by Elijah. You know, when you hear the word of the Lord, you want to believe it. You want to take it into your heart and believe it. He was the prophet of God, listening to the Lord, getting instructions about where he should go and who would supply food for him. And he listened to the Lord and believed it. We need to do the same. As we sit by this dry river, darling, with the stream drying up, just little pools left in the bottom of the river, we need to believe in God and believe that he will send rain, even though some farmers have been stealing it and some farmers have been taking a lot of water out of the Darling upstream. We need to believe God that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. He will send rain. We need to ask him and, and ask him to provide for our needs and to heal our land. In 2 Chronicles it said something like, if my people will humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, I will heal their land and they will hear from me. So there you are down on the river, darling, by this beautiful big gum tree, looking down on a very dry creek bed. And we say, get into the word yourself, hear what God is saying to you, and let the word of God get into you. See you later. Bye.